On this edition of 305 News, Miami celebrates holiday season with events for all. Tower Theater celebrates 70 years of journalism excellence by Diario Las Americas. Henry Reeves Park unveils inclusive playground. Miami Art Week showcases Afrofuturism and Cuban political prisoner art. Miami welcomes the new year with a festive celebration at Bayfront Park. Welcome back to 305 News. Get ready to dive into December's biggest highlights in Miami. This month wasn't just a season, it was a vibrant explosion of festive cheer, community spirit, and artistic expression. Let's revisit the highlights that illuminated our Miami winter. Miami senior citizens weren't letting December pass them by. Their annual Christmas party was a glittering explosion of holiday spirit. It was a heartwarming reminder of the true meaning of the season. We do all the offices, the city hall offices, the mayor's office, the commission offices, for the elderly in our community. Those who have sacrificed so much for our generation to give us an opportunity to be successful. And they've given everything. And so this is our way of saying thank you, of giving back. In District 5, the Little Haiti Soccer Park transformed into a festive wonderland for a heartwarming holiday gift giveaway. Holiday tunes filled the air, refreshments fueled happy chatter, and kids' faces lit up with the joy of activities and a special visit from Santa himself. This is our annual toy distribution and fun day. There's so many kids out here today. I'm so happy to be able to do this and share joy and love with my neighbors, my family, my community. We're here. Commissioner Miguel Angel Gabela brought Christmas cheer to families and kids near Juan Pablo Duarte Park with a generous toy giveaway. Seeing the excitement in their eyes as they received these gifts was truly heartwarming. It's a privilege for, my, for me and my family to be able to give something back and to, to show the, the residents of uh, District 1 that we care. Uh, the city care, cares about them and that we're here for them. Commissioner Manolo Reyes brought a bit of winter magic to Miami with the second Winter Wonderland Festival at Douglas Park. I wanted all of the neighbors and all the residents, the people that live nearby to be able to come and talk and meet them, each other and let the, play, the, the children play together. Commissioner Joe Carroyo wrapped up his food distribution efforts with a bang, handing out over 7,500 grocery bags and pork shoulders at Jose Marti Park and Domino Park Plaza. Aquí queremos que cada familia que esté necesitada, que no tenga suficiente para su cena navideña de Nochebuena, tenga esa comida de nuestra cultura y por eso estamos haciendo este esfuerzo que este es el sexto año que venimos haciéndolo para nuestros residentes. The Miami Police Athletic League and Miami Police teamed up for their annual Shop with a Cop event at Target Midtown. Pre-selected youth from all City of Miami districts got to experience a festive shopping spree alongside police officers, forging positive connections and spreading holiday cheer. So we're here at beautiful Target in Midtown in the city of Miami, spreading a little holiday cheer. So what we do every year is we take kids from our neighborhood, we let our neighbor resource officer that are specially trained and are our liaisons to the community to pick children in need uh, due to various circumstances. So we bring them out here, we pair them with a cop, we take them shopping for the holidays, so it's a fantastic event. The Tower Theater hosted a vibrant celebration of Diario Las Americas, 70 years of journalistic excellence. This iconic newspaper's commitment to integrity and truth has shaped Miami's history, and this event was a fitting tribute to their legacy. Let's take a step away from the festivities and explore the newly revitalized Henry Reeves Park Playground. This inclusive haven boasts engaging play structures and textures, welcoming children of all ages and abilities to explore and have fun. The actual equipment itself is going to be an awesome resource to all the families and kids in the neighborhood. We're super excited about it. This is something that the city's been working on for quite a while. We're doing it at a lot of our parks. District 1 Commissioner Miguel Angel Gabela paid tribute to a key figure in Cuban history, Antonio Maceo Grajales. A special event featuring a keynote address by Cuban historian Tony Calatayú commemorated his life and impact. During the dazzling Miami Art Week, the Little Haiti Cultural Complex hosted a digital art exhibition celebrating Afrofuturism, diaspora, and cultural identity, offering a fascinating glimpse into the future of black artists. Another art exhibition during Miami Art Week shed light on the resilience of Cuban political prisoners by showcasing their art at Maurice A. Ferrer Park. 
These powerful pieces offered a window into their experiences and served as a reminder of the ongoing struggle for human rights. Artist Alfredo Segatori transformed the Alley of Miracles into a vibrant masterpiece. This colorful transformation is a testament to the power of art to revitalize and inspire. As December drew to a close, Miami's iconic New Year's Eve celebration at the Intercontinental Miami Hotel illuminated the night sky with the hoisting of the Big Orange. A free outdoor concert, dazzling fireworks, and festivities at Bayfront Park brought the year to a joyous finale. With festive memories tucked away, Miami residents can reflect on a December filled with community spirit, breathtaking art, and the generosity of giving. This vibrant month sets the stage for another exciting year in our magic city. Thanks for joining 305 News. Remember to follow, share, like, and subscribe for more Miami goodness. See you next time and happy 2024.